How's it going on guys? This is Dimitri back again. In this video, we're going to discuss a topic on creating a budget that works. And yes, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be a video about the budget. And I know it's not really a good topic, but we are in a field of also personal finance and there are some things that are involved on growing your financial wealth where personal finance is obviously going to be a big deal. Got my notes, got my, um, circling pen as usual so now let's begin uh we're going to discuss a couple of things we're going to discuss majorly three topics is why it is how and there are a few practical uh steps there so also going to be a discussion about my personal things personal approach on how to do a proper budget and things like that and um why is it important exactly uh, specifically uh in your personal life uh, where are you going in the financial journey as well as the going into uh, real estate investing if that's the case then it's a video for you so let's jump into it uh, the topic the first um, thing that we're going to discuss is why why do we want to create a budget that works well definitely um, the budget or we're going to discuss what's the budget first the budget is a thing that you basically set aside i know it's it's kind of uh, lame terminology, but uh, you have a specific set of uh, money set aside for a specific purpose, so that's pretty much what it is, right? So you budget for something. Uh, why is it important? Um, it is a good financial habit, and um, we want to get into a position where our money is not uh, doing what they like, you know, just circling around, getting whatever they want, whatever, like it's, it's so random, we don't even know where they're going. But we want to understand. We want to understand where they're going, how they're going, what are this, uh, how are they working for us, and what they they bring, what are they bringing to us. So the topic is why we're going to do that is because we wanted to get into a position where we have a good financial uh, balance, good financial habits to perform the work or to perform the uh, or build up the projects and impl implement the projects throughout the um throughout our lives and basically yeah to make it reasonable and make it uh our financial lives more uh feasible as well as the uh what's going on in the market we need to understand some of the things about the budget man because it's crazy <laughs> some of the things there are nuts uh what are we doing um today so but all that aside this is the why people should you know should understand the budget the budget is good it's not like you know, we we going all the way, and then we're gonna limit ourselves for everything, which is one of the things that the financial minimalist uh, situation. You don't really need to, and you don't want to overspend. I'm financial minimalistic. I have my financial minimalistic mindset. I don't really need a lot, and uh, I don't go for um, you know three piece suit, whatever. So I have suits, but it's not super like great crazy whatever so i just i do it for the as a, for the work purposes of things like that that i need them for and go somewhere else but it's not like uh super high level clothing you know and all that good stuff so you know it's uh i don't i don't i don't see it's worth i don't see it's worth it you know because um basically yeah so uh i don't see uh meaning to buy those because you it's the same thing it's going to be weared out and it's going to be used a lot so it's uh, I, I just approach it as in the same way so no super high high end uh, and high uh, price high price high price tags uh clothing for uh, for me because i don't believe in those so um regular mediocre is fine for me and uh, because there's no need for that um how does it get into a budget situation well obviously i believe because <laughs> you spend money for it right so uh in a situation where uh you want to set it set it up in a way that you know you've got to set aside we're going to get into practicals but the why is you know it's one of those situations where you know you don't want to overspend you don't want to unspend or like you know spend less so but well spend less is always good i guess <laughs> so but anyway the why is would be uh, presenting a belief de developing a good habit a why would be uh, getting the better financial understanding about the financial habits and things like that so that you know um, it won't be a surprise for you to uh, get into a situation where you don't know how to get out from 
right? So, and there's always that. Because these practical steps that I'm sharing with you is pretty much what I always use uh, right now and as a, you know, got into um, into my uh, habit routine that, you know, just, just sharing with you. So how can we approach and how can we create a budget that works, right? Creating a budget um, definitely is we need to analyze our financial situation. We already discussed it numerous times on this channel, how it's uh, very, very crucial to do so. Uh, but um, practical steps, again, we're going to get into it some, a little bit, but um, it would be something to um, get your get your full understanding on uh, what are you spending your money on, and then you can uh, get into a position where you can uh, you know, set aside a specific amount and then just uh, put it in there and then uh, it works it out, you know. And then you set aside, you uh, pay them. I also heard some of the people, they actually do write checks for a specific purpose, like, you know, so, you know, do do that way uh, so that they uh, have, you know, envelope. So, or whatever, they, they kind of they kind of go all the way there. So they get five or whatever, seven envelopes or whatever, like, you know, it doesn't matter which amount of envelopes, but you get envelopes, you put those money in there and then you just set them aside. And then at the specific time frame, you got your like, you know, alarm or whatever, and then you just send it. And then there you go. You wrote it off the books and then the leftovers, whatever you leftovers, right? So paycheck to paycheck, obviously the situation you already know. <laughs> you already know, guys. So uh, my, my heart goes out for you. So, um, you know, at some point, just um, try either uh, sustain, limit something, or just get a, a better opportunity because I see a lot of people, um, you know, just, um, and I know, um, find, find the job is hard, so, but uh, be encouraged. So it's out there and uh, people still getting jobs and people still getting hired. So don't, uh, don't put your head in a wreck or anything like that. So still 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 try to you know go for it and do the best you can so it's just my encouragement to you but um yeah there's some situation that you just know you know what you cannot you cannot go any less than you can currently go it's just no way Jose. you no way bro <laughs> uh, there's no way but anyway so the how is obviously you can come cut on can cut back on something like subscriptions things like that obviously um, I'm big, big, big proponent of, uh, you know, drinking coffee either at home, making it at home, or if it's better, just make it at work. So, um, you know, and that works. They are just fine. So, and um, for me at least. So, yeah, uh, coffee, coffee enthusiast uh, and uh, all that. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but that's pretty much me. So, <laughs> in that sense, you can, um, you know, Tell me all you want so the the chat is free for you to discuss it <laughs> in any case so that's pretty much me subscriptions uh coffee things uh things that uh, you know three you know high-end clothing not and all of those things can be well high-end clothing definitely no uh coffee shops and uh, all those starbucks that's for me no for sure so all those things can be reconsidered can be analyzed and assessed so subscriptions coffee and um, high level uh, clothing, uh, depending where you also buy your groceries, like there are some of the people go all the way through organic everything, which is like some of the things that are just kind of, kind of for me, kind of crazy um, in that sense. But some of the things you just, you can go and grab a regular Costco and call it a day, you know, <laughs> sort of things like that. So some of the things that you can, you know, do normal stuff, do no, don't, don't need to over, overdrive overboard with anything like that so you can do that then uh surprisingly surprisingly like for me uh there's not a lot of things needs to be uh spent and um you know used uh, in a day-to-day -day situation you know so things like that um i you know just give you a brief example and we i think we go overboard with it even like in my situation but uh, the finances are allowed and things like that but uh, in our day to day, um, we pretty much spend around three hundred dollars on groceries every every month, right? So uh, even though it's good, bad, I don't know, but well, I do know we can cut off on something. But some some of the times, I just like you know, we just go regular, you know, don't limit yourself, like you know, just 
uh, you can do overdrive over overkill you can definitely do overkill right so definitely only for example you know ramen you know some like uh noodle noodle type of situation so you can do overkill and then you're overkill with the uh, health and everything but you know some of the things just kind of common sense kind of thing you know so that's how like i said definitely subscriptions definitely uh coffee and all those things you know some of the things that you don't really uh need and you don't need to spend your money on sorry so there we go final and very very nice step is practical oh man i love those uh i already discussed with you guys and i've probably mentioned it multiple times on this channel and the other channel like uh, other videos is a uh, practical few practical things a um, few practical tools that can be used to analyze your financial situation see what the, what is going on cut the cut like you know definitely see see what's going on analyze it um say hey you know what there you go restaurants too much for me you know like it looks to be like i'm going like every day or every week or every two days in a week or two twice in a day you know things like that so um yeah the great tool is and i think i, li I linked it in the down below in the comments as well not in the comments in the description section but you can use mint uh mint not mobile but mint uh from intuit i think it's a tax prep come well tax prep companies tax prep companies, but this is one of those one of theirs uh products which is called mint uh, mint and um, definitely a really nice budgeted tool budgeting tool uh it's you know as you put in all your um information all your financial inform financial institutions when you link them you know obviously you gotta link them you're gonna because you know you gotta make a connection there so that they they can analyze it because you know um and yeah that's what i did and what's what what's what i did and then just analyzed it gave me all my breakdown what i spend on what i you know use it for like you know all the money everything uh all the all the necessary all the financial institutions i put even the mortgage there i put even uh, pretty much everything pretty much everything <laughs> so it's not a um, even though it's a little bit kind of maybe scary but you know uh, in my situation it worked out so and it works out still so i am uh keep going and uh, you know it gave me analysis of my uh, finance financials and things like that and then I basically uh yeah i was able to determine hey i can cut 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 something on this cut something on this and this and this so meaning that let's say restaurants right so i don't need to go and eat every day in the restaurant right i can prep my food at home and do meal prep oh all right there you go um and then you can do for whatever reason like you know don't go to like uh, fast food stores oh yeah there you go and then again meal prep uh, meal prep and things like that so you know some of the common sense uh, a lot of people don't do like you know you just think about it you know like you know what oh wow you can like that i can definitely do that it's like it's simple and um some people just don't do that you know for whatever reason you know so but that's a practical step another one um there are a few uh apps out there i don't really know uh the one that can be utilized for like uh, canceling subscriptions uh i saw there's one i think I don't, I'm not, I don't, I don't remember from the top of my head, but I remember there were a few applications that can like, you know, do also if you link up a credit card or you're also financial, you, you got to link them all up in there in those um, uh, services where they analyze your accounting habits or, uh, you know, spending habits and things like that. So there's going to be uh, basically no way, but you got to do it. But, um, you know, there are going to be things that you basically need to uh, cut spend on those. I def I try to keep myself off the subscriptions like period just general in general sense but you can also see on your credit card reports credit card reports see what you are paying up for uh, but subscriptions they are very easy to forget about and very easy to just put it on the you know auto pay and things like that which they kind of do and then that's one of those reasons that they like you know what they forget they just keep paying they just keep subscribing so all that so it's it's kind of kind of one of those things so but for me i don't pay for spotify or anything like that um in that sense this is a practical step so you know you to get um less spent and it's less you know just utilized and things like that coffee you know me i don't even drink coffee 
uh, when we start Starbucks, I just refuse to do that. It's either homemade, homebrewed, or uh, at work. And so I mostly go at work kind of uh, style. <laughs> so because I can, you know, keep it up in the, in the home and so that I can use it or like, you know, brew it myself and make it nice and uh, very tasty. So in any case, those are really big steps, really big ones that can like really kind of dropping uh, those can be like considered dropping a buck. Oh, you know, five bucks here, five bucks there, whatever, three bucks there, whatever. But man, you gotta be, you you will be surprised how fast it accumulates and how easy it is. Just like just spending, 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 spending. Very easy, very fast, very uh, unnoticeable. But uh, little drops they can really, really um, mess up that financial situation. So we hit up on the why, we hit up on how, we hit up on the practical steps. And yeah, so that's pretty much, I already uh, gave you guys example by myself uh, as a like a bonus, a little bit content there. <laughs> so I usually, I use that mean situation there and I use that. And what I practically just sort of literally go every, uh, well, I pay, I pay my, um, you know, credit cards twice a month for sure. So close them out, you know, no problem. So the credit score will be good, you know, unshakable in full of glory <laughs> so so to speak but uh in that sense i got i keep it i keep it straight and uh once a month i just go into um that uh, uh platform uh mint that i told you guys and uh basically yeah clarify what's going on there so if it's misanalyzed or misscanned some 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 purchase or anything i just confirm like correct it and see my full picture we good we good we're moving forward you know things like that you know, so keeping me on track and accountable. Um, another good uh, situation is accountability, right? So we discussed that and, uh, you know, you can um, do definitely hire some like either coach or whatever friend of yours who can uh, do pro bono kind of service to you. But if you also want to coach, yeah, hit me up down below. But in any case, uh, we can discuss that. And uh, yeah, just hit me up down below and let me know guys in the comments below what you guys want to talk about. But that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you in the sense that uh, practical finance, because there are multiple steps and not only uh, real uh, real estate finance, uh, real estate investments and real estate like that, uh, not, on, not only that place part. Thus, there is also um, personal things and there's also like some of the things that are really like, you know, there's kind of a spiritual few things that uh, also drives that. But anyway, we're all discussing that in this channel. So like, subscribe down below. So my name is Dimitri. I am out. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.